All right, welcome back everybody. Um, this episode is going to be about the community pick. Yep, on the community tab, we did a yeah. little poll to poll our subscribers, our Basically audience. Basically help me pick yeah. a game. And, and the fun part of it for me was I'm gonna put four games up there that should be difficult to pick. Yeah. Now, what I thought you guys were gonna pick and what you actually picked are way off. Yeah. Way off and it surprised me. And I'm wondering if you did it because you know me, like the viewers that watch well, know me, what know what I, I like, and didn't want me to stray too far from yeah. my genre or my, you know, that's in my wheelhouse. In saying that, we want you guys to push us. I just That's want you to. That's why we yeah. wanted to do it. Yes, yes, yeah, and but no. it was awesome. But if you honestly think I wouldn't enjoy a certain game, you think this would be the best, yeah. then obviously this all came from um, because I played Astral Chain yeah. on the Switch, and, and that it was, was recommended. A recommended. Yeah, it was recommended by Level Eight Five Seven. They were recommended to them through Retro Wolf. Yeah. See how the community thing works. I loved it, so I'm like, shit, I'm gonna do this again. Then. Yeah. The one that I don't have a physical copy for was Final Fantasy VII Remake. And. Coincidentally enough, that was the one we thought you guys were gonna pick. And I was actually looking forward to playing that because I just played through Astral Chain and then Dennis came in here when I was towards the end of that game. He said, this looks a lot like Final Fantasy VII Remake there. I'm like, oh yeah, he says, yeah, yeah you, you like this game? I said, oh fuck, I love this game. He says, yeah, I think you'll like Final Fantasy. I'm like, oh yeah. So but, I made this list actually thinking you guys were gonna pick that and I was kind of pumped for it. But I'm happy they didn't because playing two similar games back to back you might not have enjoyed. I would have compared them maybe too much. Yeah, that's what so, I'm thinking. Maybe it worked out for the best. So, Final Fantasy VII Remake was on there. Also, Witcher 3. Wild Hunt, yep. Yep. Ghosts of Tsushima. I can never say that. Yep. And the winner was God of War on the PS4. Yeah. Now, full disclosure, I had started to play this game about a year and a half ago. Yeah. When I first got my PS4, I got it for Christmas. I played through Spider Man. You and did. I was just, oh my God. Yeah. Love Spider this Man game. Was amazing. And I heard so many good things about God of War. So I jumped into God of War and started mm -hmm. playing that. And I honestly got about eight hours into it or so. And I was getting a little bored, I think. Yeah. Put it on the back burner for a little while. And I got to play other games. Yeah. And always meant to go back and play it and now i finished it i actually finished the game a couple of days three days ago yeah probably probably three four days ago yeah and uh i want to let you guys in on my thoughts kind of a review of my personal opinions yeah and if you don't like them then you'll let me know i'm sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> so the first thing on the list was story as it should and be jen has never played this and the uh, what I described to you was this was basically Kratos, the god of war, and his son Atreus yeah. trying to fulfill the last wishes of his wife and mother. And be honest, you had to look up Atreus again because you just know I'm him as. Horrible. You just know him as. Boy. Because that's what he says boy. the entire game. The whole game. Anyway, so the whole that's the whole story. Now, basically trying to uh, find the highest peak in. I believe it's the Nine Realms. Yes. So I, think so I don't remember all of them. I remember Jodenheim and Midgard wow. and yeah, you know, like those Norse ones there. mythology. Yeah. yeah. So you have to find. So you think you're going to the one, and then you know, oh no, it wasn't that one. You have to go to a different yeah. world. And this so world, you just didn't world. have a Google Maps or some sort no, of GPS. No, you, uh, you have a big map. No, the the map in this. You could have just looked up what the highest piece was. Huge. No, it's, <laughs> it doesn't go like that. The whole process is basically a father and son bonding, bonding because I feel like Kratos is kind of a distant, you know, tough father. Yeah. And um, Atreus doesn't know his past. No. Doesn't no. know any of his past. So he don't, does don't not. know the whole God of War thing and all that. And as they're going through the story, he learns more of it, yes. right? And. Kratos is teaching Atreus how to become a man, we'll a call man. it, without yeah. spoiling too many yeah. things for people. Do you know what? When you told me about the basis of what the story was, basically the the whole point is to take her ash, ashes to the highest peak, I was like, good lord. I was thinking of it as myself, I'm like, I'm dead. Take me up on the roof. It doesn't matter. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah. But, I mean, that'd be a real short game. 
right? <laughs> so. Now, you would think it sounds like a babysitting mission. Yeah. But it's not. No. Because you can level up Atreus also. Mm -hmm. And I actually leveled him up faster yeah. than Kratos. And I found it way more beneficial to level him up because he attacks with arrows yeah. and stuff like that from now i don't know much about this game is there any element of having to worry about him dying nope okay well very little he did he will get attacked i wasn't playing it on a very hard difficulty we touched a little bit on difficulty if you're ready we should talk about that i want to talk just a little bit about the end of the story at the ending there. Play I remember it. you telling me that the end of the game, the story now, at the end of the game, made the game better for I'm you. I'm going to tell Jen a little secret here. And we agreed to this beforehand yeah. so that I would not... He's like, are you planning on playing? And I'm like, I might. Now, forgive me yeah. if I get the names wrong, but I, I, you make it to the uh, the last world. Yeah. And I think it's Yoden. I'm, I might be wrong. I'm bad with names. And you start reading on the wall... And it's basically your entire journey. Yeah. And it's your journey of Kratos and uh, Atreus. Yeah. And it's already on the walls. Like, they had seen it, you know. This is... And one of the things was that Atreus is a name that Kratos gave his son. And that's the name they went with. Okay. But the name that his mother wanted to name him is what I'm going to whisper into Jen's ear right now. And I, when I seen that, I literally went, oh, holy shit. <laughs> and it all came together. And that was the moment that I was like, holy crap. Because I knew what was going to happen at okay. the end and all that. So and I, I don't think I spoiled it for you, but I think I maybe enticed you to want to play it more. I didn't even, okay? Without so giving anything away, it. I didn't know that either one of those were together. Oh, uh, yeah. I, know I didn't you know that. I, know. I didn't yeah, know so that that was... so cool. Yeah. Uh, now, throughout the story, cool. your main bad guy that you're going to be fighting is Balder. Okay. Balder reminds me of... Uh, what's his name there? Conor McGregor. <laughs> so, Conor McGregor. You told me that. Yes. I just, every time I say, that's Conor McGregor, I'm going to kick his ass. <laughs> 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 that last hour or so that I played of that game kind of blew me away. Was your most enjoyable yeah, like, hour? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Then yeah. when you spread... The, then you have that closure of you go and you actually spread the ashes and then you guys are climbing down the mountain you and your son and because i'm a father you know i have a son it it is almost kind of gets you right here do you know what i mean yeah there? and we're going down the mountain and the credits are rolling on the side a little bit and they're talking and you're headed back home so yeah. you have the option to go do more stuff yeah or you can go back home and i'm just like okay i'm done at this point i want to be done the story here yeah i'm gonna wrap it up especially because i want to do a video so we went home. Yeah. And then I won't ruin anything after that because other things happen once you get home. We decided he's not sharing that with me yeah. because that might be something that does entice me to play it. That It's the only thing that would pull me away from wanting to possibly is the length of the game. Now, it, I would have to now play that it after. you say the length of the game, Yeah. I played it on one of the easier difficulties. The easier that is, the less stuff you're going to have to That's pick true. up. Now I went and you I... You can make this game more difficult oh, by you fighting can the make Valkyries. It really difficult. The, the difficulty can be really hard. Yeah. Even though when I found when I first started fighting in the game, I found it like, because you didn't have any moves. You're just very basic bitch there. Like, <laughs> you know? Your main weapon, which is a freaking awesome weapon, is the Leviathan Axe. Yeah. That plays a lot like Thor's Milnir. Milnir? 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 I'll believe you, whatever yeah. you say. You throw it, it has like a freezing effect to okay. it, so you throw it against something, it'll freeze. And you can recall it like Thor's. Yeah. That, that was cool, but then you do get the old weapon later on in the so game, as the far Chaos as, Blades. As far as difficulty difficulty goes, most anyone could play it, depending Everybody on... Everybody can play it through this game. Yeah. Now, the more, like, I could have actually did less... What do you call it? leveling up, and yeah. finding resources, and doing and little side quests, because I wasn't really into all that stuff. Yeah, I did. A f I did a more than I would normally do, and it kind of made the game draw it a little bit longer little bit. than yeah. I wanted. Um, but I'll tell you one thing: I fought two Valkyries. The first one, I think, is you have no choice. It kind of this is part of the story. Yeah, it plops you in there, introduces you to the, the Valkyries. 
and I beat the Valkyrie with like a sliver of health left. Huh. And then Dennis was here the one of the last days, like probably the second last day or it was in that same week that I beat the game that I had got to another Valkyrie and I'm like, yeah, fuck, I'm gonna try it. I didn't even come close. You got destroyed. It was an absolute ass kicking. Yeah. Like you have a stone that'll bring you back to life. I did that and I still only had half of her health Jeez. gone. She just absolutely whipped my ass. And then I spent more time after that trying to get more resources, level up, do this and that. And you don't even need to. Because you yeah. don't even need to fight the Valkyries. You, I think you do that one. Mm -hmm. But then later on, you can do the rest of them. If you are if you don't like a super difficult game, if you don't, just skip that. You don't have to do it. Just do it. But if you like the challenge. But if you like a challenge, then mm -hmm. it's built in for you too. So it's yep. kind of makes it good for all yep. gameplay. Um, oh, speaking of gameplay, gameplay. I guess that's gameplay? next. Yeah. Gameplay for me is basically how the combat works. Yes, how it feels. And at, at the first, I wasn't crazy about it because you have that, sometimes that camera comes in real close, it's like a really close over the shoulder third person yeah. view, and it makes it a little awkward to roll out of the way, get out of the way, enemies get behind you, and it's yeah. a little funky there. But by the end of the game, where I had both weapons, and I was moving a little better, and I had better combinations, and you get a better style, then it was better, it was a lot, yeah. it was a lot better, it was pretty damn good. If they could have pulled the camera back a, a little, little bit, bit for me, that was just my preference. That, yeah, that's, that's personal preference. Yeah, that's personal preference, but other than that, I can't complain about gameplay at all. Well, moving on from that, we have graphics. Graphics. I've seen the game. It's beautiful. Yep. I don't think anybody would complain about it. No, no, no. Um, when the game first came out, people were raving about how beautiful it looks, and it still looks beautiful. And I started on the PS4 Pro. Yeah. And I... I've seen reviews, and I don't know if it's still true to this day, but people said that um, it would slow down to 30 frames per second. Oh yeah? I didn't notice. And then I played this last chunk of it on a PS5. Yeah. And i sure there's a difference, but a year and a half, the memory, you oh, don't really notice. That's the thing. You would I'm have sure to have you can go side see side by, side by side. Yeah. And I didn't notice if it was still 30 frames per second. I don't really notice that stuff. No, it has to be super yeah. noticeable, I guess, for you. It would have to, to be a big dip in the frame. Yeah. I, I don't tend to notice those things yeah. either. I don't know if I just if it doesn't factor in as much for yeah. me. It the, has to be the really different really worlds, noticeable. like graphically, like the different worlds are made. Like, they look oh yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh yeah, like even at the last part when you're up in the mountains and stuff, it, I can't say anything bad about the graphics. No, it's it's Not a beautiful all. game. Yeah, it's now we get into music and sounds and stuff. It's very God of War. Yeah, They're very. They got those Norris. Norse I think sounds. most. I think most of the time when you look at music and sound, it sets your it's, atmosphere. It does set your atmosphere. If it is done properly, then you don't even notice it because it feels like it's they, part of the they game. They did a good so job in the combat that because of my surround sound and everything, plus you get the feedback and the controller, like as you're fighting, you, you get those low bass. Oh yeah. And you, so you feel the hits. Yeah. So that's nice when you get into that nice. combat. The music, I don't really recall a whole lot other than it felt like it fit the atmosphere, fit whatever world you were in. I, I think if it's, like I said, if it's done properly, then it's so yep. intertwined that it just feels like just another part of the game. It, yeah. If it's done poorly, then it can Ooh. really affect a game. Yeah. And that's when it gets, you know, dicey. Yep. Value and replayability. Value. Value because we got this game Ten on bucks. a Black Friday sale, I think it was. Yeah. Like... Not Christmas, this Christmas, but the Christmas before, yeah, before, yeah. and it was ten dollars. Uh -huh. So, a <sighs> ten dollar game, like, and for how many amazing. hours of fun you had out of yeah. it, or sometimes and if frustration. You, if you own a PS Five, it comes free. Yeah, that's there's, true. Yeah, there's a big selection of games. I don't know how many of them, but they're all like most of them are really good games, and that's one of them that's in there. Yeah, and um, this replayability. 
replayability. There's a ton oh of replayability God. because you can continue on. Like I could go back in and spend hours and oh hours God. trying yes. to beat those Valkyries and continue to level up and explore. And I didn't do not even remotely. Not I barely did any of it. I think I did the bare minimum. Because I could go back it. and put an easy 20, 30 hours into it again. I'm sure. Just oh exploring my God. and fighting. Easy. And, yeah, I'm sure so. you could put even more than that. Games like that are meant to, you could play them, not indefinitely, but it feels like it. It feels like you... This is one of those ones that feels a very Skyrim. Yeah. 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 And a lot of people love that. I think that's why oh, yeah. they're going that direction yeah. with the God of War series. I think this is a nice way to kind of ease me into that style I of game. I think so. Yeah. Because it's, it's... Something similar. Yeah. And, but it's also dragging me into that kind of a style. All right. So what is your overall opinion? My overall opinion, I'm not going to give you guys a score out of 10 or anything like that, because nobody gives a shit what I think. But, <laughs> but you know what? Like, and those scores it are was so a, well, relative. Yeah, like, I will put this game into the category, because I always like to say either I didn't like it, I, I liked it, or I loved it. Yeah. And this is probably one of those, and I really liked it. I yeah. didn't necessarily love it. It might not crack. I, I, I know right now it wouldn't top my... Uh, crack wouldn't crack. Top. Top 10. Crack my top 10 favorite games of all yeah. time, but it was a hell of a good experience, and I feel like it was a necessity to play through it before the new one comes out. Yes. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. I yeah. I feel like it was like, you have to play this before that. Well, yeah. Especially, Especially the where ending. you said yep. God of War changed so much from the previous game to yep. this game, as far as the I'm, playing I'm play hoping, style story. Yeah, I'm hoping because you did all your leveling up and all that crap there that you don't have to really go through that in the next one, that maybe it'll be more yeah, we'll see. action and story. I think there. if they've yeah. gone with that route for this game, well, they'll probably... Well, why do I have to continue to upgrade my Maybe they're or, very yeah. even harder bosses. Yeah, they'll probably. All right, guys, I think that's all we have for this video. Uh, community pick was awesome. We will continue to do it. I, yeah, I want to do it again, and I'm leaning retro. I'm leaning towards two consoles, either Super Nintendo or Dreamcast. And there, there's games on both of those consoles that are out of my wheelhouse altogether. Yeah. But I, just, I, I, I want to try them. I want to experience them. I want to at least like to at least spend a month, whether I get through the games or not. Like some of those games may be longer than I can actually do in a yes. one month. Yes. Yeah. So I want to experience them, and I want you guys to help me pick the one that I, you know, will give me the most success or yeah. <laughs> best chance for success to go through the game and, and maybe start to love these genres. Yeah, that's yeah. true. All right, guys, until next time. Game on. Game on. Oh, we're doing this? Oh, I... Mm. You're a water. water.